Howdy everyone, this is Kevin at Riverbend Nature Center doing what is a very Texas thing and hanging out with all these vibrant blue flowers. These of course are blue bonnets. It's a Texas tradition to get out there and take a picture of yourself with these things. And uh, I'm using my blue bonnet photo time so I could talk to y'all about uh, these very interesting and very pretty uh, wildflowers. The Texas blue bonnet, of course, is the wildflower of Texas or the state flower. It was declared the state flower in 1901 where it beat out cactus blooms and cotton to be our state flower. And one of the problems they were coming across is there's all these different species of blue bonnet and they wanted to make sure that they had the prettiest blue bonnet be our Texas state flower. And the state of Texas just figured that all blue bonnets that are within Texas's borders will be the state flower of Texas. There is such a thing as a Texas blue bonnet, but there are around five other species of blue bonnet that are within the borders than uh, the state of Texas has just figured all of them are cool. And uh, they really are. Uh, blue bonnets, they bloom in the early uh, spring up until May, usually. And once pollinated, they get these weird little beans like you see on this one right here. And these little beans will start building up pressure and the seeds in there, once the pressure's built up enough, will pop out. And uh, the seeds look like little bits of gravel. They just look like little tiny rocks. And they're incredibly tough. And they're meant to take pretty much anything Mother Nature will throw at it. Matter of fact, that's what they want. Those seeds need to be beat up real good before they actually start turning into blue bonnets. Because it can take up to two years for the shell on that seed to wear away for the blue bonnets to start growing. If you want to grow blue bonnets yourself, you have to get those seeds and you got to do a thing called scarification where you take the seed and you just scratch it up real good. Some people pour boiling water on them, some people scratch them up real good with some sandpaper and then sew them and they'll grow a lot faster that way. And uh, you may have noticed that blue bonnets like to grow in big groups, like you see here. Uh, these, the reason that you see these blue bonnets growing like this in these big patches is because down in the roots of the blue bonnet, they release these things called uh, rhizobiums, little bacteria that help enrich the soil that helps other blue bonnets grow. So basically all these plants are helping each other grow, which is a uh, really, really cool. And uh, their soil, they're not super picky about it. They can take loose, gritty, dry, sandy soils. They can grow in regular soils. Uh, they're an incredibly hardy wildflower that just kind of best shows off Texas. Matter of fact, uh, we are the Lone Star State down here in Texas, and it would make sense that our flowers kind of show that off as well, because they have their leaves. You can see they are usually in a little group of five to seven, these little leaflets here, and uh, they're star-shaped. So it's a uh, Lone Star leaf for our Lone Star flowers, which is uh, pretty cool. And there's not a Texan out there that would tell you they don't like blue bonnets. Everyone loves seeing these things bloom on the roadside. It really wouldn't be spring in Texas without bad weather and uh, these flowers. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed learning about blue bonnets, and I'll have to catch y'all next time.